Hey guys, Jake and Becky here with White House on the Hill and today we are gonna order some seeds. We have never done that before. Where have we gotten our seeds from in the past? We've bought them from local stores that are not local plants or local seeds, but we've got them from like the farm store or a seed store that um, just has a little package. So we've been hearing a lot about other seed companies. We hear you guys talking about Baker Creek. I've heard high praise for seed savers and I see a lot of channels promoting M.I. Gardner, Michigan Gardener that's on YouTube. So I wanted to check out their sites, compare them, see what the uh, the cost difference is between the sites, how easy it is to use their sites, and ultimately get some seeds ordered. So let's take you through the experience. So what seeds do we have and what seeds do we need? We're gonna increase our garden this year. So kind of dreaming big. Um, I had some seeds left over from last year. I had some green beans, I had peas, I had tomatoes, and I have some spinach left over, but I wanna buy a few more so I can increase the garden this year. So some seeds that I like to purchase are carrots, I'd like to find a couple different variety, get a few more green beans, oregano. My oregano did not come up last year. Some more spinach, broccoli this year, and some sweet potatoes and potatoes. All right, well, let's head down to the computer and I'll show you what it's like getting around these sites and we'll start comparing them. Okay, so we're gonna start here on the Baker Creek site. Uh, what I know about Baker Creek, they're in Southern Missouri. So it's cool that they're a local company to us. Although I know their seeds come from all over the place, but they sell heirloom seeds. Uh, they list their seeds as non-GMO. Didn't see anything about organic on there, so whether you care about that or not. Uh, but we are gonna check out them. We are also gonna check out the Seed Savers site. And these guys are out of Iowa. They sell seeds, and then they also do a seed exchange where you can sign up as a member and then you can exchange seeds with other people. I did see on their site that to become a member, you can pay $25 and then you get 10% off of all your purchases and then you're able to participate in the seed exchange. And then on the MI Gardener site, he is on YouTube. So feel free to go check out his channel if you have not seen it yet. And we're gonna check out seeds through there. And I have links to all these uh, sites down in our description and for the MI Gardener site I do have a referral link so if you click through my link we do get some type of credit through his site okay so let's start here I've already created accounts on all three sites so be sure to go create an account through whatever site you want to order from but I've already taken care of that so now we're gonna go check some stuff out so a couple different ways I saw you can look for seeds on here you can go to shop vegetable seeds we're gonna first search for carrots. So I could click that way to carrots or I could just type what I want. All right, then I get the carrots that come up and what kind of carrots do you want, Becky? Um, I would like to get some regular orange ones. Okay, we're getting out of the carrots. Mm. All right, this looks like the common. Yeah, that one looks good. Five stars are always good. Yep, so we're checking out reviews. Got a couple reviews. It says $5 for one ounce of seeds. Uh, okay, everybody loved that. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to the cart. And then we're gonna go back and you wanted some purple carrots. And I'm interested in trying out this cosmic purple. That looks really cool. Six bucks for a quarter ounce of seeds. So we're gonna add that to the cart. Okay, now we're gonna go do the same thing on Seed Savers. So already created an account. You can go in here and check out carrots. You can also do a search by clicking this bar right here and doing a search. All right, they've got eight kinds of seeds here. I do see that they list the ones that are USDA organic. So should we go ahead and try some of those? Okay, so they have a packet of 250 seeds for $2.99. If I am doing it to compare with these guys, they did one ounce. They did one ounce of seeds. So they charge $25 for an ounce. 
Let's see what the other, just a regular orange carrot. One ounce, 25 bucks. Okay, so Seed Savers is a little pricey. Anyways, we'll compare this for now. We'll throw a packet in, and then we're gonna grab some of those purple carrots as well. Okay, and then we're gonna go to MI Gardener site. We've already created an account. We can go to All Seeds or Organic. His Organic is a pretty short list. So we're just gonna go to All Carrots, or All Seeds, and then Carrots. Seeds are all cheap. I don't know what the quantity is. We'll go check that out. Here's his Organic. So 500 seeds, Organic Carrots, 99 cents. All right, that's in the cart. And he's got a Purple Carrot. 99 cents for 300 seeds, so we'll go grab that. All right, now we'll go to the next item on the list. Green beans? Yes, green beans. Okay, we're gonna look for some green beans and we do want some stringless. Let's see. All right, they've got one type here on Baker Creeks that's stringless. 250 for 40 to 60 seeds, is that enough? For us and we're gonna look on here all right so on seed savers Ooh, there's some purple ones I don't know if these are stringless though oh they don't say that they are uh, stringless does this work yeah 50 seeds, that's right around the same. So $2.99 versus $2.50. So we're pretty even on price there. And in my gardener, let's go look for a stringless bean. And he's got four kinds here. Any of these calling out to you? We'll that's go. the kind I have right now, the blue. Okay, so blue lake pole bean is what we've been growing. And they were good last year, so I would say go with those. Uh, add to wish list. This one is not available. Oh. So out of stock, we didn't notice that. So out of stock here, out of stock. So we have this one or this Ooh, one. Sorry, that one. Blue Lake Bean Bush. That's the one I have. Great, they're both out of stock. Oh. So Black Valentine or I go with the J then. New on the scene is this favorite bean. All right, does it say stringless and dark green in color? All right. Sounds good. Next product. We're going down the list. We have uh, seven things we need to get on the list. So the next one is basil. What kind of thing, what are you looking at for basil? Broadleaf, um, second one right there. Looks Genovese? Like, yeah. All right, so let's add this one. So does a one pack of 100 seeds. Is that good? Yes. Okay, now we're looking for basil on seed savers. Here's the Genovese over here. All right, so a packet of 250 seeds, which over at Baker Creek, that was 100 seeds for 250. This is 250 seeds for about the same price, so way more seeds. Okay, so we've got that in the cart, and then now we're looking at basil on MI Gardener's site. Looking for the same type of basil. And here he's got it for 99 cents. Uh, we have listed what? So it's 68 days, so he lists the same amount of time. So it doesn't say how many seeds, but we'll throw that in the cart. All right, back to Baker Creek. Next item is oregano. What are you looking for here? Delicious Italian flavor, maybe? Great for Italian and Greek cooking. As far as ratings, it's four and a half stars out of 11 reviews. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, you like that 225 for 400 seeds, we'll throw that in. Now going to Seed Saver for oregano. So they've got a Greek oregano. That sweet marjoram was something we talked about in that last one. 250 seeds, 299. Does that look fine? Mm-hmm. And... Going over here for oregano. Does anything does this mean anything to you? Oregano, Italian oregano versus sweet marjoram? Um, no. Uh, just do that Italian oregano. Okay, 500 seeds per pack. Italian oregano, 99 cents. Throwing that in the cart. 
Okay, item number five is spinach. What are you looking for in spinach? Um, that's hardy in the winter in the summer. These only take 50 days. I'm seeing that on a lot of these. That's good. 35 days on this spinach. That looks weird though. Perpetual spinach belongs to the same species. This one looks relatively normal. Yeah. $2 for 100 seeds. That's a lot of seeds. I think that'd be plenty for us. Okay, throwing that in the cart. Spinach on seed savers. Strawberry spinach. What's that all about? It has red mulberry-like fruits that are edible. Hmm. 90 days, so it takes about yeah. twice as long. Okay, it could be interesting to try it. All right, and my gardener for spinach. They got the strawberry spinach as well. Man, it's nice. All right, we're curious about this. We're gonna throw that. Since it's only 99 cents, we're gonna throw that in and then some, let's find some regular looking spinach here. Okay, we've got that in the cart. All right, moving on to broccoli. Only a couple more here and then we'll see what the checkout price is like. What are you looking for in broccoli? I did see a lot of the, the Italian, is, mm -hmm. that, is that what it's called? Romanesco Italia broccoli. That looks interesting. I've never had that or anything, but. Let's see if anybody else, what they carry. Okay, the Romanesco. So they got it to Calabrese, Calabrese. Or purple, Rocky Rob, or Calabrese. So we're just gonna throw that in for my gardener, the standard stuff. Are you wanting to try that or you just want the regular stuff like this? Um, I don't know, I'm interested in trying it. How many seeds? 75 to 100, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, then right here, so they've got their standard. We're at Baker Creek, they got one ounce packet, and they've got that Romanesco, 750. A little pricey, we'll have to, we'll analyze this list at the end and see what we can, if we can cut anything out of it. All right, last thing are potato or sweet potatoes. Sweet potato, looking good. Sweet potato, that's looking amazing. And sweet potato. They, do they carry regular potatoes? Which one, this one? That's the one I'm used to seeing. Pumpkin yam. Pumpkin yam. 10 bucks, three plants. Oh, you get plants on these? Should we just get this locally? It seems like a weird thing to ship. Yeah, I think it's locally. I could probably start them from. Okay, so we're gonna skip potatoes. We're just gonna do that locally. Okay, so now we are all set with our cart. The items aren't, it's not gonna be the exact same because they're different sizes. We picked a few different seeds at each place, but it'll give us a relatively equal comparison and then we can see what the shipping cost is like. Okay, so now we're at Baker Creek checkout. So our seeds were $32.75. Shipping is $3.50 to a grand total of $37.28 for what we need. Okay, now we are on Seed Saver site and their standard shipping is 333, ships in one to three days. So our total amount on seed savers was 2775. Now if we go to the MI Gardener checkout, he does have a point system here. I'm not totally sure what that gives us quite yet, but it does say we get a discount on this order, so I will grab that. He's got a total of 792 for the seeds. Got the 16 cent reduction and shipping of 275 for a total of 1051 through MI Gardener's site. So significantly cheaper costs. Now there's probably less seeds than some of the Baker Creek packages. Look like they were pretty big packages where they were one ounce, which I think is somewhere in the area of like 500 seeds, maybe more, I don't know. So I know Baker Creek's quality is tremendous. Seed savers, I don't know a ton about them, but they look good. Uh, but their prices came out to about the same. They were in the $30 range for both sets, shipping a little over $3, $3.50. And Emma Gardner, all those seeds that we need for about 10 bucks uh, with the shipping. So at 10 something dollars, I'm good if we do go through that, unless you want one of the other ones. Good products at a good price for a small home homesteaders that can't afford too much but want to do their as much as we possibly can. Yep, I'd say that's a win. So 
Hope you guys had fun uh, seeing us check out the sites. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Which sites do you like? Uh, if you know some other sites besides these three, let us know. And we will have links to all three of the sites uh, down in the description. And be sure to use our links, uh, especially for MI Garters. We do get uh, a little bit of a referral kickback if you use that. So hope you guys have fun starting your garden this spring. Start getting your seeds, start getting ready. And our kids are going crazy outside, <laughs> wanting to come back in. So we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.